Hi, I'm Ron Lyle. Welcome to Ask a Developer. Our question today comes from Jack, who asks, I'm having trouble turning content mobile compatible. Are there any pitfalls? So thanks. That's a good question. In converting existing web content to be mobile compatible, often that means not making assumptions about the size of the window that's being used to view it. It's interesting to note that the web is itself inherently mobile compatible. It's what we do, the tricky things we do to try and make it look cooler that often get in the way of having it operate correctly on a mobile device. So converting existing web content to be compatible with mobile devices, there are several different options. One would be to create a unique new native app and that gives you the full power of the device itself but the quickest and easiest would be to convert your site to a responsive website. This means not making assumptions about the size or the fact that you have a large desktop display to view it on. And also some formatting that enables your content to flow or be resized on different sizes of displays. Sometimes images can be a problem. When you're displaying an image on a smaller device, you'd want to download a smaller device. Uh, although it is allowed and will work if you have a few images to bring down a large image and let the device itself scale it down to a smaller size. Standard software engineering practices can go a long way to get you there. The separation of concerns, keeping your data separate from the behavior and the formatting allows you to keep your content the same and just change the pieces that are needed to fit onto a smaller display. One of the pitfalls with the mobile device is the smaller bandwidth that you may have. If you're coming across a phone connection instead of a broadband high-speed connection, you'll need to be careful that you're not trying to download a lot of large images all at once before the display appears to the user. Using techniques such as lazy loading can help with that. Bring down your page and then update the images as they get down there. Also formatting the images, selecting the appropriate size image can help with that. Download a small image when you're on a mobile device with a small screen and save your big images for when you have a large desktop display you're operating in. Things like media queries can help you make that determination and handle that within your code. And one other point is when you're displaying on a mobile device, remember that the mobile user has some expectations about the behavior of that. Don't do things totally different than the way the user expects to have that happen on a mobile device. And that's it for Ask a Developer. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments section at the bottom.